The Tape Never Lies Network. Performance over politics. Hey. The Tape Never Lies Network. The Tape Never Lies. Tape Never Lies. Starts now. What's up, everybody? You guys have been asking for it. We are back. Better than ever. Unfiltered, uncensored, the good and the bad each and every week right here on the Tape Never Lies Network with me, your boy, Draft Dr. Phil. Oh, yeah. A new era. DDP, Tape Never Lies. Oh yeah, here we are, Christmas, Christmas surprise here. Inside zone, Cole Komet can't block the backside. And James Daniels got to root his guy out. Cody White here, and everything gets stuffed in the backfield. So that's how they're going to start it off. Straight drop back, going to check it down to Cole Komet. Want to see this guy drive and drop his pads. Just juking around, continues to run that way. Here they are, cut off blocks, find the crease on the backside. You see what happens when it's done right. I want to see the tackle get up onto the linebacker. And you see David Montgomery, not a good enough job by the tight end pulling from the backside to kick out. Just got to do it better. Just square up. Here they're trying to run inside zone, but a Fetty can't get on that backer. See him? He gets stuck in there. Then the backer's able to get up free to contain on the edge as David Montgomery tries to bounce back it outside because everything's clustered inside. But if a Fetty's able to square his shoulders, rip underneath, get on the backer. Instead, he's so focused, he gets caught up in there. See it? Now David's got to break a tackle, and that's what happens when you get to this point. Now they're in the I formation. Same thing happens here. We're blocking the wrong guys. Fetty just standing up. Now the center has got a head up nose. I think he's covered block, but two guys are blocking. Now everyone's confused. They allow that nose guard to creep right through because James Daniels misses everything there's no rules they don't know what they're doing that's the continuous problem here so every time we're trying that now we're trying to run the quarterback sweep you see how the tight end passes around the outside and then they knock the ball loose from justin fields he's got to be more ball aware he just isn't right there here look at david montgomery here the center's going to step, swim, come backside onto the backer. They're going to block down. And Mustafer, you have the angle. Stay strong and flat. You allow your guy to get away from it. Same thing on the backside, James Daniels. got to stay with your blocks longer. got to understand the leverage concept. Where the running back is reading you. If you have position as a center, you got to stay sticky on that block. He doesn't do it. Gotta stay sticky. Speaking of sticky, sticky bottoms. The new walrus of Fetty falling down. Now he becomes the human hurdle. David Montgomery and there's a cluster there. The whole play gets shut down in the hole. White hair can't stay with his block. Nobody's staying with their block on the offensive line because it seems like they don't understand their rules. Now... Here comes Justin Fields, off boot action. Gets to the outside, squaring his shoulders, looking for the open receiver. One's running the flag, drag, and it's flat. And he's finding Darnell Mooney, sitting right in between two defenders. Find that window and throw that ball through defenders. Get it to where it's got to be. Darnell's got to just take that inside run. Use your speed and try to outrace them. Don't overthink this stuff it's too much overthinking here he is off boot coming to the other side and watch squares his shoulders throws a perfect pass 
And Demir Bird, you got to catch it, man. You got to time your jump, for God's sake. You guys jump all the time under Mike Furry. Let's jump and make a goddamn catch. Here. Here's a Fetty. Got one job. Cut off block. Get to the inside shoulder. Get your helmet across his face. And allow the running back to read the hole and make the choice. Here. Sam Mustafer doing a pretty good job there. James Daniels getting up to the next level of Fetty. Does it? finish the cutoff it's so important in a zone base that when you're going to that side again a fetty can't do it you just see it right there gotta get in front of that guy's face and block it boop this is what i see too much in a matt Nagy philosophy no sprinting it's jogging hey i know my route i'm going where i'm supposed to and i'm gonna be where i'm at and that's all you get there's no ad lib there's no understanding of sprinting when you have a defender close by you gotta sprint to get an opportunity to thread it and then justin gotta be safer with your slides does an awkward slide gets hit no call here we go straight drop it's gonna find darnell mooney sitting down in the curl so they release late demir bird from the backfield Mooney on the curl and simple pitch and catch under Matt Nagy. So now, what do they do? They're gonna bring that fake and they're gonna do a jet sweep. But look at our tight end, how he attacks. If he attacks his inside shoulder, you're gonna get a crease, but he doesn't. He attacks and jogs. Now the runner has to go inside his butt, Mr. JP Holtz. And he gets tripped up by your leg because you just don't have the maniacal technique. Speaking of maniacal technique, the center, you gotta be able to block this nose out of there. Fight across his face, get to that point. Sam Mustafer again at the point of attack. He's not doing it. Both guard and center. And David's got to switch that ball to get it to the other side so there's no fumble. You know, when you fire out and you attack downfield, you can make big plays. If everybody's working in unison and knows the assignment and blocks their man appropriately, step to the front side, kiss, get on that backer, get the cutoff block. Look, look at Afedi getting the cutoff block. Komet working the inside, seal his defender out. Now David could read it, get to that backside, cut it back, and he's going to be in the secondary, and he's always breaking tackles and running through arm tackles. It's a, just a cohesive flow of knowing what you're supposed to do and going after it full speed. Here's Justin again, the runner. Now, the issue here, Gray heads up play by Justin as he creeps up into the pocket. Then he stays behind the line of scrimmage and he's going to look down the field to try to make a big play. You can see it. Now watch what he does. He escapes. Now he throws to our running back, Khalil Herbert. Uh, Khalil, you got to attack straight up the field at this point. There's no cutback. He tries to cut back, but all you're doing is getting into trouble. You could have honestly fought straight forward, pads low, Get as many yards as you can, and you get almost, you probably get a first down. Here, Fields escapes. Now he's gonna try to run and get the first down. He's gonna slide, and he gets that first down using his feet. Again, none of these are designed runs by Matt Nagy. Nothing is designed when it comes to Justin Fields. Designed Wildcat for what? You got a quarterback that runs the Wildcat. David. Pulls. He should have hit right on that backside, and then he tries to go backside. But again, that's not the play design. They're pulling both guys. You don't expect it to be open, but they know your play so much so that where you're going is the opposite of where the play is going to be open. So now you lose yards. Then he's going to throw, and Darnell Mooney on a stop just works his way up the field. Watch him. And he's going to get skinny and creep his way. Better, I need a better block by David. The initial contact's good, but then 
Now, this is where a great coach asks for a measurement. I want to see how many yards I got to get. So now they try to run a toss play and watch what happens. Your guy, Grant, gets tripped up by his own guy and he can't get the first down. Not good enough right here. He should have went through that alley there behind Demir Bird. Just hit it up in there and get as many. He tries to cut back, gets a concussion. Look at that guy, Jenkins. Obviously, you know what I think about Tevin Jenkins. All the trolls were saying after one game thrust in, he's not going to be a left tackle. They're all crying in their keyboard tears now. But the reality is you got to be able to make these plays. Got to be able to make first downs. Here, they got a fourth down. And Matt Nagy decides to go for it. And here, he gets the matchup. David Montgomery versus a linebacker. Now, look at the focus catch of David Montgomery. These are the things we've been calling out all season long. Like, put Montgomery, isolate him on a linebacker, let him run a route. Allow your dynamic, your dynamic playmaker to make plays. He comes up huge on fourth down. Then... This is the semblance. Justin's got to get low and find a way to get it out or throw it at the legs or duck underneath, throw it Dan Quisenberry style. Instead, he takes a loss and it sets you up backwards again. Now empty. He's going to try to throw, but they allow them, the defense, to cover. It's three on three. So you allow a free man and it becomes just a terrible play design there's no advantage to a straight drop bubble speaking of straight Great drops yeah exactly straight That's drop in the though. truth x's with the o's become a patron the tape never lies.com each and every saturday it's a coach's clinic breaking down all things bears free agency and the draft subscribe do it now never tape never lies .com. Come on. oh yeah become a patron we totally appreciate you guys supporting us let other people know about the detailed analysis that you get look at this right with pressure in his face third down and long Here's Justin Fields finding a way to deliver a great ball outside on the money. But again, it's going to be short, but you're making up ground. Good ball placement, big deep out with pressure in his face. They got to settle for a field goal. Then they get a turnover, right? So they're going to come back. David Montgomery hit him in the flat as he's got a little leverage against the defender. David's going to catch the football and try to turn up the football field. And now it's going to set you up in a short down and distance here for second down. Now on fourth down, he's going to throw, and this is on Justin Fields based on my look. Empty set. You got the matchup you want. He throws far outside. There's miscommunication between the two. Whether it was run fast enough or what have you. Good pocket. Guys open. Justin just throws it wide of the mark. Now, again, we could I'll take Justin's word for it. Maybe David's got to turn out. But you see the guy there deliver the ball to the football player. Big miss. Turnover on downs. Now they get the ball back. Here they go, inside zone. They bring tight end wing away. There's the center, not doing a good enough job. You got a double teamed help with white hair. You got to win at that point. David runs right through the nose man, runs right through another guy, and now he's able to get to the next level. This is the stuff that you want to see from your running back. Here, again, you're going inside zone. They don't know who their assignment. Whitehair misses his block. Center's cover blocking. And then you're stuffed in the backfield. Here, action game. I want to see a better downhill fake by Montgomery and Fields. Don't let them see it. Now you're getting pressure. The guys are blocking to the side where they think you're going to be straight drop. You're trying to escape backside. And you end up taking a huge loss. In a game that's close, you can't take these 
gigantic losses. Now we got tight end, tailback, blocking edges. He's going to dump it down, check it down in a long distance to Cole Komet. And again, Cole, what is he going to do here? The only thing I just want to see from Cole is stop stopping and trying to cut back. Start running up the field and running after these guys. Here, we all know this play. This is the Afedi BS play. You want to get to the level of understanding that the tone is going to be set. The only guy that has an understanding of the tone that's starting to be upset with the Vikings pushing your quarterback out of bounds is Tevin Jenkins. Inside zone. Attitude. Nope. Cole Komet misses the assignment. Cody Whitehair. Cole's got to get that linebacker. Cody Whitehair's got to get this guy. They block the same guy, leave the linebacker free. Of course the play's going to be stuck. Who's running? Who's teaching? If you're going to be a running football team, if you're going to be any type of NFL football team, you got to understand who you're blocking. What are you doing against the front? They don't do it. Here again, Darnell Mooney. Catch the football. Now it's short. Where are we going to be here? Every Sunday, right after the game. There's our 32 run. is the idea. It's like going to the dentist. This guy's line. playing with the ones for the first time. We get it. There's a big difference, but everybody wants to make a comparison, and that's that's just at you. But I mean, you're you're grasping at straws. Phil, one thing that I think is important because we we always want to look at the big picture and look at everything. And Matt Nagy, and we got to find you know we got to look at the whys. We have to find out the whys. Well, change your perspective on that. You found a why today. Why did you win? You you found a why today because quarterback that you drafted number 11 overall changed the outcome of the game on third and nine there, that what were the whys yeah number yeah. number one is a why there is no reason why the best player on your offense leaves the field until he says i need a break and that's david montgomery you've got to go to that game and win that game so you gotta have exactly. strategy. You gotta have what you want to do. Now you could start that get, but you gotta put Justin Fields in there for a whole series or two exactly. series, and let him play. Make him make plays, and run your guys deep. I mean, curls. I mean, <laughs> blame, blame it on the bubble wrap. That the team is a reflection of you. How you set your team up for failure is to not have them. Prepared. Bears Hour Live. I know we need to run the ball more. I'm not. Oh, yeah. Bears Hour Live after every game. Let's hustle out on fourth down. We don't have the personnel in. And we're going to go dash, reverse out dash. No fake. Nobody there to the short side. We're not running to get the first. We're throwing on fourth down down the confusion of matt Nagy, dazed and confused what are the whys matt still trying to figure out why you chose this play the matt Nagy special continuous confusion let's have a running oh no let's not have a running but let's have a receiver offset on fourth and short why not attack downhill with your quarterback on a sweep and then you see tight end cole Komet fall Jimmy Graham's in the end zone, raising his hands, and Justin's going to take a sack. What, what are the whys? We all want to know. We want to know, coach. What are the why? Why are you still coaching? Now we, this play with a fumbled snap. Ah, oh, the officials were horrible in this game. We all know it. Every critical down, there seemed to be a penalty, but they got this one right. The roughing call. On Justin Fields as Sam Mustafer snapped the ball too early when the quarterback wasn't ready. Are we seeing constant mistakes or what? Here, curl route, Bird gets up the field. I like to see that. But comes back, makes another catch. Now we're throwing the ball down the field. This is the one drive. Game's on the line. We're starting to throw the ball down the field. Use the seams. Use the middle of the field. 
This is the stuff you want to see. And again, this week, obviously, Nick Foles is going to be starting. So it's, it's hard, man. It's hard to be a Bears fan. I've been watching this coach now for four years, and it's always the same BS. Here, finally, we're thrown to a big tight end, a big threat down the seam. Imagine Jimmy Graham or Jasper Horstead, Cole Komet running two deep seams down the field and allowing your quarterback to choose which one's open. Did it at Ohio State quite often. See him do it there. Now he comes back, throws a nice ball to the comeback route. Top of the route, stem, doing it. Fields is starting to feel it. Where's this been all game, coach? Where's the reality of this, Ben? It's, it's lost. We're all confused. I think you confuse yourself. In fact, this was the most passionate I've ever seen Coach Nagy. And as I said on BHL, as well as keeping it 100 on TTNL this week, it's too little, too late. Here, Justin, after the fake, comes running up. Then he takes a cheap shot. Where's his offensive line pry? Where's Mustafer? Where's Elfetti? They're all worried about getting a penalty. You don't let your quarterback, look at this. It's ridiculous that we're seeing this stuff happen to our young quarterback. It's a disgrace. Now, after you've thrown the ball to get all the way down there, we're gonna try to run something you haven't done well all game because you can't know your assignments. Mustafer, all of them confused. Nobody knowing what they need to do. Now third down, he's gonna escape. Here, Justin escapes up. If he puts it further inside, allows Komet to continue to flow, he's gonna score. Just a little bit too far to that outside. That defender's able to bat that football away. Peterson, who's a hell of a football player, is able to do that. Now he's escaping again. This play here, I'm sorry, Jimmy Graham, get paid a lot of money. Gotta make a play. Big time players, man. You're up in the air, it hits you in both hands, also your leg, and you can't pull it in to help your football team win. Again, the personnel usage always in question. There's a cohesiveness that we've seen on this network. I've called it out for weeks now to Jasper Horse that we'll get into that later, but he's nowhere to be seen here. He hits Darnell Mooney, and this is a great throw, great play, gets a shin in, but ultimately the ball is dropped when he hits the ground. He can't maintain. If he was able to maintain the catch, this is gonna be a touchdown, because a shin and you're in. But Darnell couldn't carry the catch through. As you can see, when he hits the ground, he drops it out of there. So it's so difficult to watch here. This is the kind of athlete you have at quarterback. It can outrun safeties and linebackers. Get to the st stem of your drop and run with the football and be a dynamic playmaker. It's unfortunate that Matt Nagy hasn't figured this stuff out. Look at him being a magician here. Got a guy coming off the edge, clean, spins out of that. Mustafer can't pick up the linebacker, gets away from him. And then he throws the ball down the football field. Unbelievable effort. Here again, hitting the deep man, coming back. Look this at is that. the stuff you get from Justin Fields. Here, straight drop. He's gonna try to thread that ball in between that cover two corner staying flat safety sitting there just oh so close i was hoping he'd pull this one in you see the inside release then he's got to bend it back outside that's what makes it more difficult and then finally throwing the ball here to demir bird i mean it's fourth down you're trying to get in this game i mean it's still a close get you gotta catch the football i mean this is where you go to the bench. Free runner in his face, puts it out there. You get two hands on the ball. Make the catch. This guy would be sitting on the, you can't drop this. Not in the NFL. There's no excuse for that. There's so many other options that could have happened had he made that catch. And then of course they get the ball back here. 
and the guy I was talking about. The guy who has the connection with the quarterback, who seems to have something that you can't teach. It's just a comfort level with the two of them that has shown up every time the guy's given an opportunity. He makes the catch, and of course, they end the game with one second on the clock with a touchdown to the Princeton Tiger, Jesper Horstead. And it's really unfortunate that this head coach is still the coach. I'm your guy, Draft Dr. Phil, on the Tape Never Lies Network. Oh, yeah, the Tape Never Lies. I love you guys. Truly appreciate want to wish each Running and every one of you out a Merry Christmas. Hope you're enjoying w. it. We appreciate your patronage. You better subscribe. If other people don't know, like, subscribe. Let everybody know about the patron side. There's going to be so much analysis broken down in the offseason. New coaches, new players, the draft. The Tape Never Lies ah. Network. If you think Khalil Mack is open. Fucking rated. Go to another network. Oh, uh, yeah. Bears Hour Live after every Bears game. Only a few of these left. We'll be live breaking it down. I want to shout out my guy, Bellissimo. Always helping me with the cut-ups. Got to subscribe, like, let others know about the network. If you don't know, every week I'm breaking down the tape right here. Also, keeping it at 100 every Wednesday night. Breaking it down, having a lot of laughs at all of the other shows on our network, as well as our patron side. Become a patron. What are you waiting for?